Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your reading times three. I think this is the third time I'm doing this video for y'all. So third time's a charm? We'll see. All right, Taurus. Let's see what's coming in for y'all for the next week or so. I'm going to put the link to the original extended reading below. That'll be in the description box. Also penned in the comment section. It should resonate with this reading as well. And then I'm, I did a separate love reading in there too. So that extended reading is going to have two readings. One is your original outcome, which again, I'm sure it will resonate. The other spread is just love. So it's like two readings. All right, let's see what's coming in for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what is up? So this will be general, could be love, career, money. We'll just see what comes out. It's the energy for Taurus for the next week or so. All right, let's check it out. Coming into the reading, what do we got? What's the energy? Ooh, the Two of Swords. That's how mom here feels, blocked. <laughs> by YouTube, not my intuition. That bleep, bleep, bleep is on point, all right? I'm talking about YouTube. What's the influence or the challenge to that Two of Swords? You've got the High Priestess. Ooh, she's a tarot reader. Pisces, energy. Am I showing up in your reading, Taurus? What's going on? What's on your mind? The Ace of Wands, beautiful new beginning. So you, you feel a spark towards something new, this passion, maybe thinking about a passionate new beginning or just getting excited about something. You've got the Emperor in your recent past. Major Arcana for Aries, bossing up. What's the situation? Why is everything happening? The devil, Capricorn energy. All right, Major Arcana, what's coming into the near future? What can you ex expect to experience? You've got the hanged men in reverse, Pisces. Get a lot of Major Arcana. So when you get a lot of majors in the same reading, it's really just big shifts in energy. It's kind of like the universe saying, what's up Taurus, I got ya. All right, how do you see yourself right now? What are you up to? The Queen of Wands, more Aries energy. Could be anybody, I just named the signs. People like to know what's in your environment coming in that you don't see yet. You've got the Ten of Coins. There's your Earth energy. All right, what's in your feels? The Ten of Wands in reverse. So you've got a couple tens here, so you're completing something. What's the outcome? And the Hierophant, there you are. Look at you, you're like, yeah, mom, third time is a charm. There I am showing up in the reading. All right, so if you're new here, the way that I do my readings, as you can see, I like to lay all the cards out, take a step back, look at the cards, get my intuition in on what's going on, clarify, and then we go through it, and it reads like a story. If you start, and there's nothing wrong with it, but sometimes it can get kind of tricky because if you lay down a card and, a, and start explaining that energy, the surrounding cards or the clarifiers can change it, right? And also... Each tarot card has more than one meaning. In fact, they have a lot of meanings. So that's just the way, that's the style that I like. All right, everything's happening because of the devil. You do, there is a blockage. There is a blockage, but it could be, uh, Taurus, that energy of like, oh, this feels so good. I have such an attraction to somebody, such a spark. It doesn't have to be love, but you definitely are moving towards something new. But again, you're in two minds. It's kind of that like devil angel on your shoulder, right? And it's all ha happening because of the devil. So it could be temptation. It could be somebody's been quite toxic. Hmm. You're feeling, or you will feel pretty attractive. Like you're taking action, you're bossing up. That queen of wands is bossing up and feeling good, confident. Yeah, you're laying down some burdens. I'm just looking at this. I feel like you've been stuck in a cycle for y'all. And listen, y'all, the devil can be abuse. It can be toxicities. It can be addictions, temptation, any of those things. I feel like Taurus has been connecting with a very overbearing energy. Now, we've got the emperor in the recent past. He is in the upright. Typically, when he's in reverse, he's a real bleep hole because he's controlling, right? He wants to have his way. He can act like a child, have a tantrum, that kind of thing. Is in the upright. So this could even be like a boss, a father, something like that that's been very overbearing. There's some sort of toxic thing, but you're freeing yourself from this energy. Very closed off. Like I feel coming in, and some of you this hasn't hit yet, you're gonna be in that mindset of a little like, blocked, right? Like do I go left, do I go right? I'm not really sure yet what to do. In this deck, she doesn't have the blindfold on, so she's about to make a decision. And I think it's to block and to ignore this energy. You're using your intuition about that high priestess 
super, super like mysterious and you're about to close off and move towards something new. new. What's this two of swords? There you are. The Empress, that's your energy, Taurus. Whether you're male or female. Yeah, abundance. Okay, so you've got an Empress and an Emperor. So for some of you, couple things. Some of you, it is a family situation. It's like your parents are super overbearing or they're being like that to a sibling or something. It's around you. Now they're in the upright. So I feel like their intentions are, you know, they're, they mean well, but maybe it's just toxic. Listen, you can be a good person to have a shitty relationship with someone. Others of you are in a long-term relationship with this person or you're married to this person but you're releasing from this and there's something else with a lot of abundance coming. Why is the high priestess the influence for Taurus and the king of wands? More Aries, Leo, Sag, taking action. You're putting somebody in their place here and then you're moving towards something that's a lot more abundant. Again, it could be a new boss or moving away from an overbearing family member. What's on your mind, ace of wands? Why, something new. Yeah, I think you're taking on that queen of swords energy. She's like, come here, I got something to tell you. She could be a mother too, but what does this Queen of Wands want? What does this Queen of Wands want? The Four of Cups. She's dissatisfied, or Queen of Swords. She's dissatisfied. I think that's your energy, Taurus. I think you're taking on that Queen of Swords, especially if you have air in your chart. This is all about you being dissatisfied and moving on towards something new. Why is this Emperor in the recent past? What's going on here? Yeah, Eight of Cups. You're like, see ya. And there could even be a lot of love for this Emperor doesn't matter you know what I'm saying but you know like you have to shut this down to go towards something new you got to leave the past in the past and I feel like for some of you whomever this is whether it's a boss a lover a you know a parent like whoever whomever this is I feel like you come back and you do um kind of like bury the hatchet in a sense. I think it's way down the road. Like I'm just getting this premonition that that happens. I think that during this time period, the next week or so though, you're like, I gotta go. Like I can't deal with this anymore. It's too much. Why is the devil here? Capricorn and the king of cups. Look at all these people. Who are all these people? It's like the Waltons over here. I just aged myself. I mean, if y'all don't know what the hell I'm talking about because you're too young, look it up. There's all these people. Like at the end of the show, they'd be like, good night, John Bob, Jim Bob, good night, Grandpa, good night, Grandma. Like it was all these people. And Taurus, all these people are showing up here. Now you've got a King of Cups. Oh, Taurus, somebody has a drinking problem, maybe. And you're like, nope, get it, get. And remember how I said I feel there's emotion towards somebody here? I feel like you tell this person, because this Queen of Swords is right to the point. Like you tell this person, you got to get this under control, whatever devil energy that is. It doesn't have to be drinking, but the King of Cups sometimes has that issue. And you may be involving other family members in this. It's almost like an intervention, but I think you're kind of done with someone. And keep in mind, it could be a lover too. Coming into the near future, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. In the near future got Pisces with the Hanged Man in reverse and the Page of Wands. Yeah, going towards new things, no longer feeling stuck or, you know, like you're waiting around for something to get better. Nope, seriously, you're like, I'm out. You're being kind of stubborn with it this time. And that Page of Wands is a spark. He's taking action towards something new. This Page of Wands and the Tower. Could be a heated discussion or a fight, so just be careful. What's this Tower? Scorpio energy and the Nine of Swords. You're letting it all come ripping down though, because there's, you know, there's a lot of anxiety here. I think you express something. I think that page of wands coming into the near future is more you like having this vitality for life and expressing that I'm out. I'm not hanging around this bleep, bleep, bleep anymore. And you tell somebody that and it erupts. You let it all come down. There could be a fight or an argument. There'll be a little bit of stress. You go home. You're kind of worried about this because again, I do feel like there's some sort of love or emotion tied to this person, but you are not hanging around whatever's going on and I think for some of them it is an addiction how do you see yourself right now the queen of wands why yep fighting look at that look at that powerful strong energy Taurus You're like I'm boss lady boss man boss bitch watch me seven of wands watch me block you see you later finally standing up for myself it says Taurus what's in your environment coming in you've got the ten of coins Keep in mind, so something a little bit different. The Ten of Coins can be family. It's like a gathering, right? 
You have dinner, you have drinks, you have conversations. It's a very, it can be a very social card, right? Typically we think of it as like marriage and commitment and stability and good money and it can, it can. But look, on this card you have all these people gathering and it's a lot of stability within that home, that family. Again, it can be a very social card where you're kind of all sitting around and talking and drinking and talking about things. And that's where all this comes in. And again, it's either somebody that you've been with for a while or it's a family situation going on. What's coming on with the, what's coming in with this Ten of Coins? Yep. And Taurus, I think, telling everybody, which brings that tower moment, could even be a group of friends. It feels like family. I'm going out on my own. See you guys later. The Nine of Pentacles is very, very much about career, stability, nurturing herself or himself. By the way, I do feel like the universe is bringing you some sort of good news with money as well. It's like you check your mailbox or your bank. Do we check our mail? Do we get checks anymore? Again, I'm dating myself, but I don't know. You check your online banking and there's like a million dollars there that you just weren't expecting. I'm being dramatic, but you know what I mean? Like maybe your bonus payout is more. Maybe you receive more money this payday or you get an unexpected birthday card from your granny and it has a ten dollar check in there remember that remember when you get like five dollars from your grandmother she's like happy birthday sweetie i'm like thanks graham what's this nine of pentacles but your money does get better yeah the knight of cups so the knight of cups is the arrival of something you have emotion tied to this it's very it can be very apologetic energy too that's why I said at the beginning here, I don't think this is like a forever F you type thing with whomever this is. I think that it's just for now because you've had it with someone or something. But again, there's emotion, there's a love. It comes back together down the road. But somebody needs to get off the Pop-Tarts or the tequila or something. There's something addicted. There's an addiction, I think, going on here. And I think that you've been dealing or handling this for a very long time. If it's not an addi addiction, it's like an obsession with a lover that they have with you. What's going on in your feels? You've got the Ten of Wands in reverse. You're like, can I just get a break? It's too much. Ten of Wands in reverse. I got to relieve the pressure. Yeah, the Five of Swords. I got to put myself first. Five of Swords can be you're the Third Swordsman. You're putting yourself first. Yes, it can be mind games. It can be childish behavior. Somebody trying to win at all costs. We get it. It's the Five of Swords. It sucks. It can be a fight as well. But you don't want to fight with this person. There's probably been some heated exchanges in the past. But you don't really want that because you're just, you want to lay it all down. Five of Swords, yeah, and have more happiness and stability within your relationship, your home, your family, something like that. And you feel in order for the waters to kind of calm things out over, you need to walk away for a little while. So you will. But I think before you do that, there's one last kind of heated exchange or gathering or intervention, something, something like that's happening. I'm telling y'all. This person loves you or has a lot of emotion for you and you do for them. It's kind of like tough love is what this feels like. Now, there you are in the outcome in your element. I like it. Got the Hierophant. What's this Hierophant in the outcome for Taurus? What do we got? Oh, the Two of Cups. Look at that. If this is a if this is a long-term relationship or a marriage, you guys are getting back together. It's not over forever. Oh, what's this Hierophant with the Two of Cups? Nice. Some of you are going to just leave this devil energy in the past, and it is with a lover, and you have somebody new that's a lot more just like stable and calm. What's this Two of Cups? Oh my God, with the Seven of Swords. Look at that. What's the Seven of Swords with that Two of Cups? This is what you're avoiding and you're leaving behind if it's love. Yeah, judgment. But you've got somebody here. This, that devil energy, remember a minute ago I said somebody's obsessive. You may have somebody that's still kind of obsessed with you, but you're trying to get the hell away from them and their toxic behavior. You just want to be on your own. You felt so tied down by somebody here, Taurus, and it's very freeing energy. You find another relationship. It doesn't have to be in the next six days, right? But this is the energy that's manifesting. Everybody's on a different time frame, but somebody else is like, wait a minute. Whoa, hi, where are you going? Seven of Swords with Judgment. I'm blowing the horn. Let's repeat that toxic behavior. You're like, oh no, I once loved you very much, King of Cups, but you gotta put down the milkshake. I can't do it anymore. 
And if it's a family situation, like a father, a brother, a mother, something like that, you just need a little space for a little while. You're doing some tough love with someone here, but it will come back together. You're just gonna kind of avoid that behavior for a while with that seven of swords. And I think you're putting a plan in place too. Judgment says, all right, we can rise above this now. Let's take stock of what happened. Let's make a decision. Completely new slate. We know the tower came in, so that was probably going to be an argument or some sort of big announcement. You know, somebody's like, yes, I did eat 25 Pop-Tarts. I know I was supposed to only eat two. But it's something big. I'm making light of it. I'm, I'm not making fun of it. But you know what I'm saying? It is something big. Some, something gets revealed like during some sort of kind of big gathering. And then time passes and it gets fixed. It gets healed. Because there's so much respect for each other and love for whomever this is. But you're just like, eh, I got to work on me. I can't, I can only do so much. And if it is somebody toxic and love, you got something nice coming in. But it's going to be a little while down the road. All right, Taurus. Again, I will put that original extended reading below. I think it'll hit for y'all. Um, I'm going to pin it in the comment section too. I would appreciate a thumbs up. Make sure you leave your comments. Share the video. The more y'all interact on the videos for me, the more it gets pushed out into the YouTube world. And I don't know. Maybe my videos will start being seen again. Maybe. I don't know. We can hope or wish or that would be a good thing. Um, I would really appreciate it. And then also, if you will, follow me over on Facebook because I know you'll get a notification over there. Whereas here, mm, you probably won't. I think it, last time I checked, 8% of my subscribers get notifications when I upload out of 250,000 subscribers. Imagine if like even half of my subscribers got notified notified that'd be pretty badass so but i love reading for y'all if y'all need anything put it in the comment section reach out through email i'll be glad to help you and um, i hope this reading hit for you if it didn't check out your moon or your rising sign all right taurus i will see y'all very soon i am loving you hard love me hard back and we'll speak soon take care as i just shake your video sorry about that okay bye y'all